Exclusive <laughs> color. <laughs> Chanel sneaker. I haven't even seen this before. Don't right ever now. say I don't share my tricks like <laughs> most of these people out here. Hey! Hey, welcome! Hey. How are you? I'm great, how are you? Well, this is my first time ever opening this door because usually I have clothing racks here and I can't even open it. So. Clothes, huh? Yes. I heard there were bags, shoes. Let's Everything. get into it. Come on in. Yes. Check it out. Yes. Tell me a little bit about your closet. Well, I live in New York, obviously, and there's never enough space. So it's just constantly trying to stay organized somehow and constantly also getting rid of things because otherwise I would just have a bed in the middle of a bunch of clothes. Whatever I don't wear, I give to my family and mm. my mom distributes it to everyone. And then whatever they don't keep, we give to charities and things like that. So it's nice to see that the clothes continue to have life even you know, after me. How would you describe your style? I'm a tomboy, and a lot of people don't know that. I think it's just based on what they see on Instagram. It's like hair and makeup done yeah. and all these like glamorous pictures, but that's not really me. If you look at my closet and you see all these hoodies and these sweatpants and jeans, like I'm very much a tomboy and I spend most of my life in a hoodie and sweatpants. But then obviously I know how to come out of that and switch it up if I need to. Glam it up yeah, a little exactly. bit. You know how to exactly. do that. There's a nice little selection of Givenchy Nightingales mm -hmm. up there. When you're bag shopping, what do you look for? What do you go for? Obviously, you see with the Givenchy bags, if I like one, then I just start getting different colors of what I like. So if I have a bag, that's pretty much gonna be the bag for like that month because I'm so busy and I'm running so fast, I don't have time to take everything out of one, put it in something yeah. else. I remember my first Birkin bag. That Ooh, was tell like me the, about that. It's that black one over there. I see it over there. Okay. And it was actually a gift from one of my best friends, Kim Kardashian, which was amazing. I'm like, damn, you give out good gifts. And then you went on. And, and then, of course, <laughs> see, I like it. And then it just keeps going. Then I just get multiple colors of the same thing. When did you get this one? Six months after my very first one. Okay. So I was like, I really like these bags. And then everyone was getting all the cool colors. And it was like summer. I get compliments everywhere I go on this one. This is like, a great color, and apparently it's not that easy to find. Oh, an exclusive, <laughs> an exclusive. color. Okay, I don't have any Birkins, so can I just <laughs> hold your, can Here. I just hold this Here, one? you can cradle maybe, it. Maybe just like, <laughs> cradle it. All, all of them, maybe? Sure, maybe whatever we'll you just want like, to do. You know, just whatever you like. hold them for whatever a second. Whatever you like. Okay, great. You said you were a tomboy at heart. 100%. Always was the girl that hung out with all the boys. When you were a kid, like, what did you have to have? What was that one hoodie or that one piece that you had to have? Anything that had anything to do with this man right here, I had to have, I had to wear. I was, and still am, the biggest Nas fan of all time. So anything Nas, and I got this merch when he did his album release party in Queensbridge. By the way, I have two of them. Oh, you got two. <laughs> this yes. one has a different a different thing on the back. A lot of black, just easy. You know, you throw yeah. back on. What's great about hoodies and sweats or hoodies and jeans, you can still dress it up or down. I've also heard that you have a very nice shoe collection. Oh my God. <laughs> I am in shoe Heaven. I am too because honestly, I don't see a lot of these shoes because there's racks usually in here too. So it's nice to finally see everything. I'm like, I need to be wearing these soon. I, mean, I saw some over here that I want to wear. These. You have maybe like mm, 400 pairs in here. Is that possible? It's very possible. Oh my god. I'm like, what are those boxes up there? I need to look through that stuff. There's so many. Chanel sneakers. I haven't even seen this before. <laughs> what are your favorite shoes, do you think? You laugh. <laughs> These are my favorite shoes. The Jordans? Jordans, I just, this is my everyday shoe. These. We've got sparkle, we've got shine, <laughs> we've my, got gold. But favorite. the Jordans are your favorite. The Jordans are my favorite. And I've been really happy because my friend Kirby from Pierre <laughs> Moss just sent me this collab he did with Reebok. I'm definitely more of a booties girl than a heel. Like these Louis Vuitton, I mean, they're super clunky, but I like them I for just these. maneuvering around the city and stuff. Same with these Prada ones down here. It's kind of like the same concept. They remind me of sneakers yeah. in so many ways. But there's some great things in here that I haven't seen in a while. This is a cool rack. Oh my God. This is a cool rack. The red rack is one of my favorite. Red is like a favorite color of mine. 
I love these booties a lot. As a matter of fact, I'm like, hmm, maybe I can wear them today with something. I'm gonna okay. pull a shoe, okay. and then you're gonna tell me the first word that comes to your head. Okay. Okay, got it. How about these guys? That is definitely an award ceremony or New Year somewhere. Definitely a red carpet shoe. What about these little Aliyah okay. babies here? Two of my best friends, Kelly Rowland and uh, Angie Beyonce, put me on to the Aliyah boot. Even though they're so high and they probably are my highest shoe. I mean, look at that heel. I mean, what is this? A I don't six know. Inch heel, maybe? But this feels like sneakers a on. Sneaker. I've literally seen people running in Alaya boots. I haven't mastered that yet, but I have seen people Soon. do that before. Yeah. That can be the title of your memoir, yeah. Running in Alaya. These are the off-white Converse's, which have been really, really cool. See, this you have a nice me. little You know what? <laughs> Once it's one, then it just goes crazy. So I have a great selection. I have more somewhere. You're living in a closet oh, right now. I love so living come in on. a closet. This is genius. This Talk is definitely to me about courtside style, actually. Huh. You can't be doing too much. I didn't wear this jacket sitting courtside. Uh -huh. I wore it in and then I kind of tossed it. I mean, everyone's style is different. I guess I would say you don't want to look at your photo shoot, but then I've been seeing girls sitting courtside and killing it. And I'm like, maybe I need to step my courtside style up. It's whatever you feel. I was beyond happy when I, I got this jacket. Because I am such a tomboy and I just love this jacket and I feel like I wear it too much now. I wear it all the time. I have a funny story about this black Tom Ford suit. It's literally my favorite suit in the world. I just went to Mrs. Obama's book signing and I wore it, but my brother was so funny because he's like, La, you literally cannot wear the same <laughs> black suit to every event we go to. I'm like, but it's Tom Ford. He's like, I don't care what it is. Doesn't matter. You gotta switch it up. But it's just a classic black suit and it's so hard to find just a classic black suit. I mean, this suit has been with me many places. And then when I want to sexy it up mm -hmm. some, then I'll wear like a great lingerie piece underneath. You have to tell me about <laughs> this number. It looks like a fencing outfit, is that right? It's a fencing outfit and it has my name on the back. On the back, casual. Casual. Casual fencing. And no, I don't wear this in the street. Um, <laughs> one of my best friends is Miles Chamley Watson, who is one of the top fencers in the world, and he's taken me to fencing lessons before. It looks great on, by the way. The pants fit really tight. Does something to your booty, like, <laughs> it's a whole thing. This was a great moment for me, and you know, I love finding designers from all over, but the power premiere this summer, mm -hmm. I wore this, and it really, really made a splash. This was a corset that was actually inside in Alexander McQueen gown. Mm -hmm. There's so many times I'll wear it under, you know, my clothes oh, and it just cinches my waist. Yeah. But as you see, it's went through so many like <laughs> alterations and it's been fixed a hundred times. But if you just want that snatch waist, it's a really cool thing that you could just slip under a shirt or a dress and it just all of a sudden just, yes, exactly. <laughs> so right don't ever up. say I don't share my tricks like <laughs> most of these people out here. I'm telling you guys what the tricks are. Lala, this has been so amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much for showing us the clothes of your life. Thank you for being Thank so you. awesome. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And because I know how much you love Birkins, well, I'm going to let you borrow one. <laughs> There is an alarm in this one though. Oh. So you get like a good week use out of all it. All right, all right, all right. I need you to make some good memories with oh, this. Oh, I will. I'll make all <laughs> the memories it. with this. Thank you. Bye, I'll Bye. see you soon.